Have you ever thought that maybe you were dropped as a baby and nobody ever told you because they didn't want you to worry? To think that there was anything wrong with you? Have you ever craved or maybe just wondered what it would be like to be hugged by Martha Stewart? And along that note, what about Snoop Dogg? Maybe it would feel a little bit toasty. Do you have a stuffed animal or a blinky that you had as a little kid and you still have it as an adult and you have a grossly intense attachment to it and now it's basically in rags and stitches? Have you ever climbed a tree all the way to the top and you could see the tops of houses in your neighborhood? Have you ever been given a gift so bad that you couldn't help but laugh? Have you ever been given by a neighbor and it was so intensely delicious that you wanted to ask them for the recipe? Have you ever had one hand in your pocket and um, the other one given a peace sign? Did you ever make your Barbies kiss? Did you ever eat your Polly Pockets? Or maybe not eat, but chew? Do you have any pets at home? Or should I say animals disguised as pets in your home? Did you take them off the streets? Did you adopt them? Did you say, I'll take this little furry rodent and let them sleep in my bed with me. When you were a kid, what did you want to be when you were an adult? Did you want to be a firefighter? A police person? A chef? routine. You do yoga. You do a little prayer, a little meditation, a little ASMR, and then find yourself going to sleep. Do you take comfort in the satisfaction of knowing what to expect? Does it bring you peace and tranquility and quietness and no surprises. 
when you wake up in the morning that you crave something sweet maybe some coffee maybe some matcha tea what is your go-to breakfast and what do you think your breakfast says about you do you like more complicated dishes maybe more simpler dishes or maybe it just depends on your mood which is very normal do you find that you suffer from a chronic illness do you find that many people don't realize that you have an illness that causes great pain or fatigue or just a general discomfort and it affects your day-to-day life and you wish that more people could see that more people could see that you're trying harder than everyone else around you to do the same thing are you gluten-free If you are, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Do you find yourself looking back to your childhood and missing certain aspects of it? But at the same time, do you ever ask yourself, what are some things in my life now that I'll miss in 10 years? I'm going to show you my wall art. I took all of these images from history magazines and I cut them and I pasted them all along my closet door. I don't feel any significant love and adoration for one specific image. I just think that they're cool and I thought that you may want to see it. So I'm going to show it to you. Starting from the bottom are some women playing soccer and a woman who fell. She is me. This is a bunch of men praying to what looks like Mother Mary. I don't really know, but I thought she was badass, so I hung it up. This is... A replica of a Viking ship passing along Sog Nef Jordan, the deepest and longest fjord in Norway, living in a landscape dominated by water. The Vikings of the Scandinavian Peninsula, Peninsula became expert boat builders and navigators. This is called Drake's flagship, originally dubbed the Pelican. The Golden Hind was the only one of Drake's five-ship fleet that sailed around the world between 1577 and 1580. 16th century watercolor, Cornelius de Vries. This is Greta Garbo, photographed circa 1925, was one of the many early movie stars who holidayed on the Orient. Express. This is Tidal Divine Wisdom. As an epidemic ravaged the city, Athens looked to the gods for help and sent delegations to the oracle in the temple of Apollo at Delphi. The colonnade standing at the site today dates to the 4th century BC. This is a movie poster from Murder on the Orient Express. This is a 19th century painting by Eduardo Ettore Forti, depicts street life in Pompeii before the eruption, with Vesuvius looming in the background. You can see it. This is, I forget her name, a young girl who was really good at the gun. (laughs) This is... Serkiki Station, shown here in a present-day photograph, was completed in 1890 in Constantinople, 
now Istanbul, Turkey. It was the final stop on the Orient Express. I am not sure who that is, but I thought they looked cool. Um, just a cool image, a bunch of random white English queens. Those are some women with guns. That's a woman named Rosita Forbes with a gun. That's a goat. That's a queen. Those are some pretty ladies drinking tea in Japan in a special tea ceremony. Just a cool image of some white guys and statues. Thought this was cool. Some guy was getting like burned alive in hell. Um, this is a sad image. The History Museum in Aral, Kazakhstan displays a preserved bream, one of the several species that vanished in the 1980s, when the once bountiful Aral Sea shriveled and divided into separate bodies. On the Kazakh side, a dam has revived fish. On the Uzbek side, only invertebrates remain. This is in the Yemeni desert. Um, it is an ancient Marib, the site of the capital of the ancient kingdom of Saba. Flourishing in the 8th century, Saba is believed by some to be the homeland and the queen of Sheba. This is just some cool lady. I thought she looked cool. And then this is the lighthouse of Alexandria. And the other wonders of the ancient world were popular with artists for centuries, as shown in 1572, engraving after a painting by Dutch artist Mertern van Heemskerk. I don't know if I'm pronouncing a lot of these names right, but I know it's okay. This is a woman enjoying a woman-only side of a train, um, inspired by the Orient Express. And then of course, this is a uh, Orient Express. It chugs through Switzerland. The service's route was altered after 1919 when a new tunnel allowed the train to cross the Alps and avoid passing through Germany. Oil painting was done by Terence Cunio. Um, this is an album cover by a man named Curtis Mayfield. I haven't checked out the album yet, but I mean to because I just thought it was super cute and super cool looking and he looks super fly. Um, this is Ray Charles. He was known as creating sexually charged secular versions of gospel music. This one, I just, it was based off of the Great Plague. I just thought it was a vibe, you know? Ladies hanging out with skeletons, you know, having a good time. And this is a picture from Rome, just some people, you know, hanging out with their pets, you know, some robe, just having fun, you know what I mean? So yeah, I will back up so that you can see what it all looks like. So yeah, this is what it looks like all completed. I think it looks pretty cool, and I think if you have a limited budget, you just get some old magazines from thrift stores, cut out some pictures, and have some fun with it. Let me know if you guys like it, and if you feel inclined to replicate it yourself. You can also replicate it with many other things, like pictures, postcards, stickers, things like that. Hi. I hope that you sleep good tonight. Don't worry, I'm not finishing just yet. I just genuinely hope that the people who watch my videos feel safe enough and comfortable enough uh, listening to me watching my videos. I know I can be a little bit crazy in my videos, and by crazy, I mean just a little bit chaotic. 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 But every once in a while, I like to make
shoes. I've got some blankets and some boxes and I've got my laundry soap and I've got a little cardboard box of medicine that I don't need on a daily basis. I've got my Yourself. <laughs>